So, any reactions? Yes? Maybe it's a little old. Not either one is right. You know, this country has been here for a couple of hundred years with this system throughout the country in place, but maybe it's not completely broken. It needs to be reworked a little bit. So, I guess off the top of my head, I think it's a little old. There's a system that works in this country, but I think we need to tweak it. And what would be the nature of the tweaks in your mind? Well, I mean, again, instead of having, you know, let's just take fire departments. Instead of having, you know, take concentric circles around fire departments, let's start bringing them together. Does it have to be one centralized fire department under one centralized command? I don't know. They do more or less cooperative agreements amongst the, the cities in the county. So you don't have to change everything you do. You just start coming together a little bit tighter right. than Okay, so pursuing collaboration and so forth. In other organizations, has there ever been any thought of working together in statewide and marketing Ohio? I mean, I know Ted Strickland and Lee Fisher are working very hard on doing that. But it seems to me why it's almost it's, we come together as a region, now we're competing against Dayton and, and, and Toledo and the other regions around Ohio. Every region sort of has its own areas of expertise. Uh, why can't we work together as an entire economy of Ohio, which is one of the largest in the world, you know, comparatively to other countries? Obviously, we live here, we want to focus on our area, but why not work collaboratively as a state, you know, bringing together the resources of, of all the other non-governmental organizations, governmental organizations, and so forth? And, and maybe some of that's going on, I just haven't read about it. There is, there is quite a bit of that going on. There's a group, the Ohio Business Development Coalition has been working with the Ohio De uh, Department of Development to try to do a couple of things. One is to see, uh, is, is to push regional planning out and develop regional areas of expertise and then to see how uh, the different regions can be linked. And then there has been a, a, a statewide marketing campaign. Love your, live, love your business, love your life, or? Yeah, uh, there, there's a, they're taking an, out nationally and internationally a statewide campaign and then trying to drive it back to the relevant region. So they're making a push, and I'll give this administration a lot of credit as well. They looked at the economic plan from the prior administration, and they said, that looks pretty good, we should keep doing that, and then they're trying to add to it um, some additional work in marketing and, and elsewhere. So, Mayor Rothschild, you had a point? Well, um, 
there's been some interesting research, the Brookings Institute and such, says that strong leadership is important. But we also see, are seeing these new models where it's distributed leadership, and, there, and we may not have one leader. We may not have it. We have to have a shared destination, and if we all understand that destination, well, it. and it helps to have a spokesperson, but if we don't have a spokesperson, you can still succeed. I mean, you can think of all the sports analogies, right, or the, or the orchestra or whatever, but uh, yes. Right. But, I would just add that and we'll I would hope back. that our colleagues here in this organization would be those ambassadors for change. Um, as Brad said, it doesn't need to be one spokesperson for that change. And we're all out there in the community. I think the biggest impediment to moving this region forward, um, quite honestly, is uh, what can we do? You know, the preaching is where we, we are so down on ourselves and down on our region that it creates this whole self-fulfilled prophecy that we are not uh, we're not an effective region. Well, us singularly as a council person, whether we represent 2,000 people or 25,000 people like I represent, you need to be out there championing and saying. This conversation is a healthy conversation that we need to be a part of. We need to embrace it, uh, but we still can have our local identity. And I don't know if you want to add anything to that, but to your point, I don't know if there necessarily has to be the leader, whether it's Ted Strickland or Don Pasquale. Well, you know, it, I don't. Well, I, 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 I don't. There doesn't have to be. It's nice if there is, but there may not be. So, what are we going to do? Wait. You know, the Messiah is coming back, um, right? Until the Messiah comes back, let's, let's like build a great world. Um, which poses an interesting question. You've taken a leadership role in some pieces. Where else can you lead? If you know that the, that the things that matter are business growth, talent, government, and, uh, government collaboration, and inclusion, where might you, as an association and in your community, step out? And, that, and by the way, if you want to talk to us about how you can do that, we're ready to be your, your dance partners, right, on, on this thing. That's what Laura Steinbrink spends her life doing. Um, so we know what we need to do, those four things, and there's a million variations within that. Who can do what? <laughs>